guys! I thought this would be a great time to make a video of my String of Pearls collection since I have to move them inside because of construction going on. So the String of Pearls plant can be difficult to figure out. Some people seem to be able to grow them like vines, while some can barely keep them alive. I've been on both sides of the equation and I have some tips for you. I started my collection with one or two pots that I purchased from the store. At first, the plant seemed to be doing fine, but eventually started shriveling and dying. I couldn't tell if it needed more water or less, and why the beads were shriveling. But after some trial and error, I have managed to salvage the plants that I had and kept them alive to eventually grow into this little collection of mine. Here are 7 tips I have for you to keep your string of pearls alive and thriving. Tip number 1. No direct sunlight. String of pearls will not do well under direct sun or under, under intense heat. When outdoors, they prefer a bright location but protected from direct sun. Partial shade is much preferable. They will shrivel and dry up when left unprotected in direct sunlight for too long. If you leave your string of pearls outside as I do, make sure to provide proper shade for your plant. Find a spot where the plant can be protected from direct sunlight such as under a furniture or under taller plants, especially afternoon sun when the sun's rays are the most intense. Mines get plenty of morning sun and some indirect afternoon sun. Tip number two, provide proper lighting indoors. When kept indoors, they need to be placed in a location with plenty of light. Since the sun's rays are naturally less intense indoors, you do not need to worry about burning the plant as much. Find a bright spot in the house with plenty of light and sunshine. Try to have the sun hit or shine on the crown of the plant and not just on the leaves or beads. If you notice that the plant is getting sunburned by turning yellow and shriveling, you can move the plant a few inches away from the window to lessen the intensity of the sun. However, not enough sunlight will cause poor growth and drop leaves. If the, plant, if the plant does not receive enough sunlight indoors, move it to a brighter location or closer to a window. Tip number three, know when to water and when not to water. String of pearls do not need to be watered frequently, but when you do water, water thoroughly and give the plant a good drink. Do not water again until the soil is dry. So how do you know if your string of pearls need water? The simplest way to tell if your plant needs water is by the, the way, by, by the way the beads look. When in need of water, the beads start to shrivel and wrinkle, kind of like raisins. This tells you that the plant is very dry and it needs, be, it needs to be watered right away. But you don't need to wait until the beads start to shrivel before you water. The key is in finding the right balance between when to water and when not to. I water my string of pearls every 7 to 10 days during the summer months and about every 2 to 3 weeks during the cooler months. In the winter season, I withhold watering because this is when we get plenty of rain in my area, so I just re rely on rainwater. For reference, I live in Northern California and keep all of my plants outdoors all year long. If you live in a more humid climate or if you keep your plants indoors, you do not need to water as much. Tip number four, find the right pot size. Make sure that your pot is not too big for the plant. I learned this the hard way and this is how I almost killed my string of pearls early on. These plants have thin stems and roots. They do not need a deep pot with plenty of soil. That just gives the plant more room for rot and disease to grow. Keep it simple. Choose a pot that is the right size and depth for your plant. Make sure the plant is not planted too deep in the pot or more than an inch from the rim of the pot. Drainage holes are also great to have so that excess water can drip out of the pot. Tip number five, choose the right soil. Drainage is key for these plants. Succulents such as string of pearls do not like staying wet for too long. This does not equate to not liking water. They love water, but they do not like to stay wet in wet soil for too long. Constantly wet soil promotes root rot and disease. 
Potting soil that drains well has usually been amend amended to make it more porous. You can amend the potting soil yourself. The simplest way that has worked for me is using cactus mix and combining it with perlite. You don't need exact measurements, but I normally go for a 2 to 1 ratio of cactus mix and perlite. If you don't have cactus mix or if you run out, you can also use an all-purpose potting mix. I find this to be the easiest and simplest way and also probably the cheapest. There are other ways to amend succulent soil, but anything complicated just does not work for me. Tip number six, repot newly bought string of pearls plant. This is not talked about enough, but it is a very important element in the survival of your string of pearls. When buying new plants, they're usually planted in the wrong potting mix that either keeps the plant too wet or too dry. Remove the plant from its original soil and repot it into a fresh one. Transplant newly bought string of pearls into a more suitable potting mix and into a pot that is the right size to ensure the survival of your plant. And finally, tip number seven, protect from frost. String of pearls is not a frost tolerant plant. It can tolerate temperatures of around 20 degrees Fahrenheit or negative six degrees Celsius. Anything less or any prolonged frost and you need to bring your plant indoors or provide protection from the freezing temperatures outside. If you have harsh winters, be ready to bring your plants in for the winter or protect them from freezing temps. As I mentioned before, I keep all of my plants outdoors all year long. They survive the frost that we do have in my area because we get plenty of sun during the day to warm the plants up. So there you have it. Those are my seven tips to keep your string of pearls alive. I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to check out my blog post on this very same topic for even more details. The link will be in the description box below. I've also created a playlist related to this video. The playlist link is located in the description below. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. It will really help us with YouTube's algorithm. To see similar videos like this, please dis subscribe to this channel. If you'd like to be alerted as soon as I upload a new video, hit the notification bell. Thanks so much for watching and happy gardening!